Right, what's good, y'all? These are the 10 skills that I believe every man should possess. Number one, you should know how to fight. If you do not know how to fight, and you are not making a conscious effort to learn how to fight, this makes you soft, pathetic, weak, and useless. It sounds harsh, but that's the reality. I can't sugarcoat it. I can't make this sound any better for you because that's just the truth. I, you have no excuse. We live in a time where you can learn how to defend yourself, right? Like if you don't know how to do this, it's okay. Just acknowledge it and go learn. Go on Google, type it in, nearest martial arts gym. Go in and do a free class. It's as simple as that. Your mind is making it out to be something more threatening and more complicated than it should be. All right, you go in, you start learning, stay consistent with it. After a few months, you're gonna learn or you're gonna know a lot more than what you know now. And you'll, you'll probably be able to actually do something on the street if something were to go down. All right, and please, please learn striking and grappling. Don't just do one. Don't just think, oh, I'm just gonna learn how to use my hands. I'm just gonna learn how to, how to box or how to do Muay Thai. Or, oh, I'm just going to do Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu because that's what I enjoy the most. Listen, in a real-life situation, it don't matter what you enjoy the most. If you have to defend yourself, you have to use any means necessary. So, learn how to strike and learn how to do the grappling aspect. Because remember, every fight starts on your feet. Every fight starts standing up. And every fight inevitably ends on the ground. So, you need to know how to do both in order to actually know how to fight, actually know how to defend yourself and whoever you're with. All right, so that's skill number one. Skill number two is knowing how to use weapons and knowing how to use things around you as weapons. All right, why is this important? Because it doesn't matter how good of a fighter someone is. If someone else has a weapon, it renders that obsolete. It renders that skill completely obsolete, right? I could be the best fighter, but if you have a knife, I'm no longer superior in this situation, right? So learning how to use weapons, whether that be a knife, whether that be a gun, whether that be a bow, whether that be a crossbow, whether that be throwing knives, whether that be a baton, brass knuckles, whatever it is that you're gonna use knowing how to use it because it's not enough to just have it but not know how to use it right like yes you can still do something with a knife but the more you learn how to use it the more capable you are in a situation where you have to use it all right and learning how to use things around you as weapons is very important because there's going to be a lot of times where we don't have the weapons available to us. If you don't have a weapon available to you, well, then knowing how to use it is not really gonna help you, is it? All right, so a perfect example, if you're walking down the street and you don't have a weapon on you, but you're about to get into a fight with someone, you have to be able to look around you and see how the things around you can be used as a weapon. And you have to think outside the box here. You can't just think of, oh, is there a rock that I can use? Is there a brick I can use? Like, yes, these are very uh, val valuable, valuable, uh, viable. And there's a word for it. This, you get what I'm saying. The, these are very good options, but you have to be able to look at things like, you see this tree, like how can this tree be used as a weapon? The curb, how can the curb be used as a weapon? Right, the crack where this grass starts and the sidewalk begins, how can that be used as a weapon? You have to look into these things. You have to think about it. You have to know how to use things around you as weapons because if you do, well then it brings you just one step closer to, I'm not, I don't wanna say superior, like I don't like this whole superior thing, but just, you know, being a step above in this situation. You always want to be one step ahead 
of the other person in in an altercation like this where you have to defend yourself or you have to defend the people you're with all right so as a man very important all right, the third skill is knowing how to forage okay you need to know how to distinguish different plants like is the plant edible is it medicinal or is it harmful and if it's harmful how can you use it to your advantage all right like i know i'm sounding primitive here but listen th these are very very necessary skills that we've lost and it's it's not something that we should have lost all right we as a collective should know how to do this but more so as men we should know how to do this if we are to be the providers and the protectors of the people that we are with all right so if you can distinguish plants you can effectively forage and you can provide right like maybe you found a plant that's toxic you could use this plant you could smash it up and then you could put this at the end of a weapon and it could be very very effective where it's like you know what you could you, maybe you get in a, an, an uh, alter, altercation interaction um confrontation you get into a fight or something with a, a person right man versus man or it's man versus animal right you you get in there's an animal attacking you or something being able to slash it once whether it be the man or the animal and then be able to run away <sighs> listen very very valuable valuable skill to have all right now the next skill plays on to this one and that's knowing how to hunt whether that be setting up traps whether that be using a bow and arrow a crossbow a gun um, using a spear gun, uh, a spear in general, a net for fishing, the list goes on, right? But you should know how to hunt because if you don't know how to hunt and the times call for you to be able to provide for yourself and the people that you're with, with food and you can't, you, you can't do it, you, you can't get any anything to eat, well, listen, you're not going to survive. Neither are the people that you're with so very important as a man know how to hunt i mean we've been doing it for such a long time and if you look at the last skill that i said plus this one it's the hunter gatherer you can't gather without being able to distinguish the plants and obviously you can't hunt if you can't hunt you can't get food if you can't hunt All right so hunter gatherer it's in our blood it's in our dna learn these skills it's very 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 valuable okay the next skill people might think it's uh, obsolete people might think it's, it's not really uh, legit for me to say this but swimming or being able to swim dive climb sprint and jump Many people might think, oh, well, don't we all innately know how to do this? Or at least didn't we learn how to do this as kids? Well, listen, we don't all innately know how to do this. And we all didn't learn as kids because there are people that are grown adults and they don't know how to swim. All right, now, you, I'm sure you can think of many situations in your head where if you didn't know how to swim, that would be very detrimental, right? But knowing how to swim... And preferably I'd say knowing how to swim in an ocean because knowing how to swim in a pool versus an ocean is two completely different things. When I was a kid, I learned how to swim in a pool, but it's not until my dad took me into the ocean where I actually learned, learned how to swim. Because when you have the waves and you have the currents and you have all the different wildlife that's in there as well, like you learn very quickly how to be an efficient swimmer. All right, so um, big difference, learn how to swim or be able to swim in an ocean, uh, be able to dive. There's so much that's under the water. 
uh, and our bodies have adapted to be able to dive. I think it's called the uh, mam mammalian dive reflex, something like that. But basically, like we've we, we were made to do this. We were made to do this, and the more you do it, the better you get at it. And the more you dive, the more you understand the uh, subtleties in diving. All right, the if you've ever div div divin, I was about to say divin. If you've ever dived before, then you know that once you get to a certain depth, you start to get this pressure in your ears. And the more you dive, the more you understand how to relieve this pressure. And then the more, you, the deeper you get into diving, you understand, okay, there's different ways to relieve this pressure. There's this thing known as the Valsalva equalization. And then there's this thing known as the Frenzel equalization. The Valsalva equalization, pretty much we all know how to do. It's where you, you hold your nose and you just push out, right? You can only do this up to a certain point underwater though. Like once you reach about like 10, 15 feet, I think it is, you can't do it anymore. At that point, you need to do the frenzel equalization. If you don't know how to do the frenzel equalization, well then you can't dive further. And just imagine if you needed to dive just a little bit further to hunt the fish that are down there. So very important knowing how to uh, you know, swim and dive. Climbing, obviously, People think like, oh, well, I mean, climbing is very easy. Well, listen, all right, find a coconut tree and try climbing it without any type of support. It's not as simple as it might seem. It's not as easy as it might seem. All right, like, if you know how to do this, you're well off. If you can climb a tree that doesn't have limbs to support yourself to be able to make it easy, you're well off, right? very very important skill to have and the last one um well second to last i'll just combine them together but sprinting jumping we can all sprint and jump but the question is are you doing it efficiently like are you utilizing your body in the best way you know like are are you how do i explain this the motor units in your body, the muscles in your body, are you recruiting everything in such a way that it's, it's accessing at least minimum 50 to 75% of your, uh, your ability to do so? Like, can you access 50 to 75% of your max ability of sprinting, of your max ability of jumping? All right, and why is jumping so important here? Because there's this thing known as a triple extension. All right, in the athletic field, when you bend down and you are uh, basically there is flexion at your ankles. Um, I think flexion. Yeah, there's there's flexion in your ankles, your knees, and your hips. And then when you're going up, there's extension on all three. I think it's called triple extension. I might be getting this incorrect here, but. This is a very important thing because it, it's, it's a move that's utilizing your entire body as a whole. And for you to be able to use your entire body as a whole, it makes you very, very, very effective as a human being. It transfers over to everything, transfers over to fighting. So listen, it's, it's a very important skill to have. All right, so the next skill that we have here is knowing how to process meat very self-explanatory if you hunt if you're getting animals just fish stuff like that if you don't know how to process it like you, you're not going to get the most out of it like it's not to say you won't get anything out of it you'll get something because you'll probably just start chopping away and you'll find a way to get something to eat but you're gonna be wasting a lot of the food. And in these situations, if, if the times call for you to have to hunt or you to have to slaughter an animal, you should be utilizing as much of the animal as possible to provide for yourself 
and the people that you're with. Right? So, again, very self-explanatory, but you need to know how to process meat. Uh, so the next skill that every man should have is knowing how to bushcraft. All right, bushcrafting is like a combination of a lot of things now. Um, if you look up a bushcrafting video on YouTube, you'll have someone, you know, uh, basically surviving on their own in the wild. You know, they know how to make a fire. They know how to make tools. They know how to utilize the things around them to build shelters and just survive, right? This is a very, very important skill to have as a man, as a collective, but, you know, this video is preferably, or not preferably, but it's geared to men, right? So as a man, you should know how to do this. Um, if you don't, I'm sure you Right, your mind, you can think to yourself and you could start to see all the downfalls if you didn't know how to do this. All right. So the next skill is knowing how to grow plants. It's not the most funnest thing. A lot of dudes think it's not the most masculine thing. But listen, you got to know how to grow plants because if if the situation called for it, like you need to know how to be able to produce crops like a farmer, you know, are you going to be a farmer? No, unless that's what you're trying to do, but you should know how to grow certain things. And if you found fruits or if you found seeds, if you found different plants, you should know how to grow these things. Because again, like you can only hunt and forage, you know, hunt and gather so much before you run into times where you have nothing all right so if you know how to grow well then you have it to where it's complete right because you can hunt you can forage then you can grow and at the same time you know you can take care of animals i was going to add that as a skill but i mean taking care of animals is pretty i mean it's pretty simple all right so, next skill is knowing which direction you are facing or moving in without having a compass or anything like that. So, it's basically using the sun, the shadows, the stars, the landmarks, things like this to distinguish in which direction you're facing or you're moving in. All right, if if you're trying to move in a certain direction and you have no idea where you're going, you're going to be going in circles. All right, listen. I feel like the, the deeper into this list I get, the less I have to explain because it's, I mean, it, I'm sure your mind, if, you, if you've been watching this far, I'm sure your mind is, is filling in the gaps and you're understanding why these things are very important. All right, and I'm making this video, I probably should have said this in the beginning, but I'm making this video as a, supplementary video to the video I made on the whole thing with uh, Ukraine and Russia where it's like we just you know we live in a time where it, it could be the end of this uh, these good times right? it could be the end very soon and if that's the case if we if we live off grid you know if if there's a war and stuff like that, and we just don't have access to the normal day-to-day -day things anymore, like we gotta be ready for these things, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, very important. Knowing which direction you're facing, moving in. And then the last skill here is knowing how to lead and be violent, all right? Now, knowing how to lead is very, again, self-explanatory. You understand, it's, you shouldn't know how to lead because at some point or another you're going to be called upon to lead and if you can't lead <sighs> you're going to fail yourself and you're going to fail the people that you're with and there's no worse feeling than failing yourself and the people that you're with alright so you need to know how to lead and in terms of being violent or the capacity of being violent like i'm not 
I'm not uh, condoning violence. Right, but you should be able to be violent. It should be there. You shouldn't suppress it. And the only way that you can be able to be violent is if you learn how to fight. And if you practice this daily, you go in there, you learn different techniques, you drill the techniques, you spar with people, right? Like this is the only way that you can be able to uh, be able to I just completely lost it for a second, but it's the only way that you'll be able to be violent, right? Like to exercise violence, right? So with that being said, it's a long, long video. Um, if you made it this far, cool. Hope it helped you in one way, shape or form. And um, with that being said, the last thing that I want to say, I have a coaching program that I'm about to run here in the next few weeks. It's a very intensive program. Um, but before I do this, I want to get some feedback from you guys. So I'm going to leave a survey. It's only four questions, but I'm going to leave this survey. Please, it would mean the world to me if you went on there filled it out, you know, answered the four questions for me because it gives me a lot of information, a lot of feedback uh, in terms of like knowing what it is that people are really looking for in this whole self-improvement journey. So if you have the time, about like a minute, maybe two, please go down into the link in the description box below or in the comments, I'll drop it there as well. Fill out that survey and um, yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. Get at these skills. Start learning them. Be the best man that you can be. And remember that the time is now.